Are you pondering how to tackle the garage as you stare at the many items that you have stored in it? Well, my dear busy mothers, I have news for you. I will be providing you with some tips to help you clean your garage. Yes, today we are going to declutter the garage, my dear busy mothers. So let us begin. Welcome back to my channel where I address topics concerning busy mothers with positive gems. And today I'll be providing you with the information on the topic, how to clean the garage the benefits of having a clean garage and yes there are benefits of having a clean garage so my dear busy mothers let's get to it now when you're cleaning a lot of people they neglect the garage and this is incorrect first and foremost for reasons of hygiene it needs to be clean just like any other room in the house Cleaning can create more room in your garage so that you can use it for storage. So let's take a look, closer look at each of the reasons why you need to clean the garage. It's very, very important. Now, the garage serves as a place for many people to store things that doesn't fit inside the house. So the garage quickly transforms into a location where anything and everything can be stored, much like a storage unit. So it is so important that, you know, while having a location to store your things, those can be useful. Some of, you know, some of you may be inspired to store some of your summer items in the garage. But you can also clean up your garage to use it for, you know, entertaining friends. You can open the door and sit on the outside. Clutter often results in costly damages. So let's look at... um. You can have less pets. When you have a lot of clutter in your garage, it will have a lot of insects and rodents might be there. And I'm pretty sure you know what I'm talking about. So when you clean up the garage, you will have less pet to worry, pests to worry about. And it will help you to reduce, get rid of those pest con um, problems that you have in and around your house. Because if you have rubbish piles in your garage, you know, then the insects will favor that location. Furthermore, if you store food in your garage, you know, mice, rats, and other pets, they, they will get free access to the contents. And we don't want that. So not to mention that when there is too much clutter, you cannot maneuver yourself. And, you know, getting rid of the pets is a chore that is not impossible. So keep objects in your garage. Keeping objects may increase the risk of accidents like fire, and leak and damage to your home and rodents may be attracted to your unorganized crowded garage now these creatures they will eat on whatever you have there so worse these other problems you can lose your documents and papers licenses to these rodents because they you know come into your garage and they eat everything when you have a crowded garage it frequently results in you having to spend more so clean the garage space clean on a regular basis. Now, you'll be more organized as well, my dear busy mothers, when you have a clean garage. So when you organize the garage, you know, it's less likely that, you know, what I can I say? It's important to remember that every time, everything will be in its own location, its own place. You don't have to dig through any clutter to find your holiday decorations or your tools or anything of, of the sort. So... You need to spend time arranging to clean the garage so that you will save time when you go to look for items that you would, you know, seem to be lost. You will also achieve extra space, my dear amazing mothers. And we all need space from time to time to um, store stuff. Now, a neat garage, you can put different, uh, you know, things in there. Even instead of having your car, Mm -hmm. taking up all the space in there you can organize it so that you can you know either park on one side and you can put stuff on the other side and you might also find another location to keep your belongings you know like a number of parked cars in a garage you can transform your garage also into a play area recording studio mechanic shop home gym or workshop if you're very creative and inventive it can be a very alluring scenery 
Now, when you have the garage, let's face it, a clean garage sometimes, you know, is a lot better and more inviting when it's that, you know, when it's organized with good reason, because it's a, a space that you can use to go and sit and, you know, relax and focus. And, you know, it doesn't need a lot of decorations. It's not necessary for your garage to be a location that you're ashamed to show your visitors. Every time you step inside, you're pleased with what you see. You will thank yourself for taking the time to clean it. So my busy mothers, go ahead and clean up the garage so that when your visitors come, you will be happy to show them around. When you have a clean garage as well, it eliminates the risk of injuries. Now, my dear busy moms, we do not want to fall and get any broken bones. So for that reason, I would, as we, I would suggest that, you know, to prevent the risk of injury in your house, especially to you and your children, keep your home garage clean as a first step. That will increase the risk of, you know, you not tripping and falling by accident. So leaving things like clothes and other appliances around the floor and electrical cords is a no-no the garage you can put you know containers with goods and these are items that you know can be stored away from your kitchen area that reduces the risk of any forms of accidents so the garage is ideally a very important place for your house so my dear busy mothers a clean space leads to a clear mind yes a clean space leads to a clear mind. So unless you enjoy working in a creative chaos or, you know, whatever you call it, cluttered garage space, the clutter is never good. So organize your space so everyone can enjoy. Therefore, organizing your garage and getting rid of things that you don't need give you an absolutely wonderful, optimistic feeling. And additionally, your brain will function better and you won't be distracted by any mess. So lastly, once you finish organizing your garage, you'll see that there is a lot more storage space than you initially had. And you will be super, super happy for the extra space. Now, you will benefit greatly from a clean garage. So my dear busy mothers, like I said, once you've organized the garage and you have a lot of space, some people experience tension when their homes are messy. So given that a clean environment can have a favorable impact on your brain and emotion, it makes perfect sense. As a result, in order to acquire this frame of mind, you must eliminate tension by arranging your garage and your living space. Making your bed, doing the dishes, sweeping up regularly, you know, make the appearance of your home looking clean. The same is true for your garage. If you clean it at least once or twice a week, you will love it and experience less stress. Now you need to engage in remodeling. So from time to time, we like to change around the spaces in our homes. Well, you can also remodel your garage. You should, you know, every now and then improve the looks and remove items that you never use for a long time. But you know, renovation can begin by typically starting at the floor. Then basically, you know, choose which corner you want to do one corner at a time so that you don't overbear yourself. And mess can pile up and be hazardous and harmful to your health. So we don't want to have bad health. So guess what? Preparation is key. Prepare yourself by wearing a mask, wearing gloves to help to clean up the place. So like any other area of your house, the garage needs attention too. Frequent cleaning has many advantages to all areas of your house. But today, I'll just specifically look at the garage because it's an area of the house that is quite overlooked. Now, check the link above and the description below to see a list of more awesome videos such as decluttering, investing, fitness, parenting tips, online businesses, meal delivery services, among other um, informative videos that I've prepared for you. And I do hope that you enjoy viewing this video as much as I enjoyed creating it for you, my dear busy mothers. Go ahead and like if you do find this video informative. Like it. Subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos that I've prepared before. 
and more to come. And do share my channel with your friends and leave a comment below. What areas of the garage do you find most difficult to, care, to clean? I invite you to join me when I upload another video for you busy mothers. Hit the notification bell so you will be informed when I upload yet another video. So, please remember, tackle the area of the garage slowly but surely and you will benefit from it greatly. So until next time, remember to check other videos above and check the description below. Bye.